Chicago. Um, prior to that, I worked at Hot Chicago uh, here in Chicago, and I started a blog about four years ago with the help of MJ Tam, who is here in this room. Um, and prior to that, one of my interns and my brother, who is a computer engineer, led me towards technology and social media. So I've always been technically inclined. I come from a family of geeks. Two of my brothers, both of my brothers are engineers. So I've always enjoyed computers and technology. And for me as a journalist, I naturally gravitated towards social media and it helps me in telling stories, and I love that many of you help me to disseminate the news. Because often I'm tweeting about stories, talking about stories on Facebook. Oh my gosh, it's Amy Marie Walsh. I've yes. never <laughs> met her in person. <laughs> I've known Anne Marie for four years now. And then through Foursquare, now we connect on GetBlue, we connect on everything. <laughs> everything. Oh my goodness, it's great to meet in person. Uh, and, and that's social media. I mean, I her story is incredible. If you don't follow Pat Chicago, you should. You should know her story. It's absolutely incredible. Anne Marie was homeless, and now she's not. <laughs> Thanks to social media. Um, but I'm here to talk, I'm here to take questions um, and talk about how I use social media daily in my work and in my personal life. I am constantly all over Chicago covering stories. I cover a lot of murders and fires and, <laughs> and sometimes happy news. I wish I covered more happy news, but I do cover a lot of crime these days. And I, often will tweet about it uh, from wherever I am. I do get tweets from viewers about stories and I appreciate that. And I appreciate so much when I tweet something, somebody is retweeting me about the story and then maybe I'll get a tip about the story from a retweet. And I love that. And it just tells me so much how connected we are. And I love that I have ambassadors really because Often, I'll be on the air, and about 30 seconds later, there's one Twitter follower I have who will tweet out what I'm reporting to his followers, tagging at WGN TV. Without me saying anything, I'll have maybe one or two people reporting on what I'm reporting on. So, I love that, and I, you know, well, I don't have to tell all of you guys, you guys are all sold on social media. <laughs> um, but in anchoring, whenever I am anchoring this week, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll be doing our midday news, and I always enjoy talking to viewers while I'm on the air. And as much as I can, I try and give behind the scenes glimpses. Um, has anyone else started using Viddy? Yeah, I, I started Viddying recently uh, from a fire scene. I posted a Viddy earlier this week, and it hit the trending. Uh, topics on Viddy. And it's interesting how I think Viddy's taking off slowly. I, I was playing with Tout. Is anybody, anybody else playing with Tout? I was playing with Tout, but I started playing with Viddy because it's so much fun. It's like Instagram with video. So you have filters and music and stuff like that. It's similar to Social Cam. How many of you are using Social Cam? <laughs> Am I that geeky? <laughs> I use it, but not <laughs> Okay. Social cam is similar to Viddy, but you don't have a 15 second limit. Um, for me as a journalist, I love posting that fire scene video for 15 seconds with a little bit of music. It kind of set the scene for people. Um, and I could just put in comments a little bit about the story, plus I could tag where I was. Um, but it's interesting, a 
lot of the people who liked it are from overseas. But at least, you know, they know that, hey, it's a Chicago video and they're liking it. And I don't know what it does for me on television. It, I, I, it probably does nothing for television ratings, but I love connecting with people wherever and however I can. So um, I don't have to tell you guys that television ratings are down. And that's why I love finding avenues where viewers are. I think in the future, none of us will own TVs. We'll all be watching streaming videos on our phones, live newscasts or whatever, or on our laptops. And we will not have appointment viewing anymore. Unless it's, I don't know, like the Olympic events, I think we'll all want to watch them live at some, at some point. I think there will be appointment viewing in that sense, but when it comes to newscasts, I don't know about that. That's why I feel like we get extra mileage out of a story I told. I told, I covered a great story about, remember the autistic kid who went missing from the south side? He walked all the way to Glenview. He just kept walking, and he doesn't speak. Uh, severely autistic, he speaks three words. And he was missing for two days. It was a great story because he turned up in Glenview. And, you know, I got an interview with the biker who found him on a bike path out of Glenview. He just kept walking and walking until he got to Glenview. And it was such a happy ending for the family because they were obviously fearing the worst. So I got to tell this great story and tweet the link to the story. And then people shared the link to that story. So I feel like I get extra mileage from my work. And I don't feel that offended if you know the TV ratings are that low. Actually, on WGN, they're not low. <laughs> um, we actually have very good ratings. But I don't feel offended if people didn't catch my story at you know noon that day. I don't care if you see my story three days later. It's still a great story. So as long as it's getting extra mileage, I really appreciate that. Um, the other day, I also got to go to the Brookfield Zoo and cover uh, Jojo the gorilla. He moved over from Lincoln Park Zoo specifically to breed. So my story was basically gorilla sex. <laughs> and I, I, hash, I think I hashtagged gorilla sex. Um, <laughs> and well, actually, I put that on Facebook. And somebody said, you're going to regret writing gorilla sex on your Facebook status, because now you're going to get funky ads on the side. But, uh, I, have to, I have to ask, how many of you actually pay attention to the Facebook ads on the right side? But, you, do you? Barely. Yeah, I, I can't say I even look at the right side. I don't know anyone who's ever bought anything. Has anyone ever bought anything from a Facebook ad on the right side? Ever claimed you haven't bought anything? You have? We have one person in a room of social media nuts. Isn't that interesting? 